Generic greetings and welcome back once again to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today's beverage is a very nice cup of coffee, a beverage that is really required when you need to wake up at, hang on, almost 10 minutes past 5 in the morning. And if we go outside and enter what is, I still believe, one of the most beautiful and serene pieces of digital scenery you can experience in a game, we can see that the sun is just starting to rise. In fact, if we look over to the west, we may see just yet the, the distant moon there which is starting to set is it a moon set is moon set a thing anyway it's over there you can see it's nice uh, orangey red glow as it heads down uh, past the horizon there and obviously we will get a sunset as well in a previous video of the hunter which admittedly was quite a while ago now we were once again shooting to chill which basically means we're trying to get something like mission wise in this particular case harvest a male black tailed deer or earn a, and earn a quick kill bonus of 50 or more but basically it's not really about that it's about taking in the sights and sounds and scenery there is a white tailed deer mating call over there and yeah as i said it's about taking the sights and sounds and busy just chilling out and that's the whole point in these videos you know you remember when a time when you could get out and about uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, either way, let's uh, see what we can do. So as I said, we do have a mission here which says harvest a male black-tailed deer and there's a white tail over there. Now in terms of black-tailed deer, I believe there are some around these parts. A moose place. There's a black-tailed deer need zone between... What time is that? It says... 5 and 9. What I'm going to do then is head over to this bit here, which is a hunting structure, and we'll spend a little bit of time looking around, and if we have no success, we'll come back, and then we may even probably set up around this location with a with a hide of some kind and we can see that the rain has started to fall there anyway over to uh, weapons wise we do have this new weapon which is a MN 1890 I think which is basically Moss and Nagant and we also have if we go to the next weapon an air rifle which is basically completely and utterly useless but there you are I'm going to mark up this destination and we will head over that location I'm actually going to put that in my pocket obviously I'm running uh, along here and on the bottom right it shows you the direction of the wind and by extension the scent that we uh, direction of scent we have our heart rate which obviously so, increases as we I run spotted some tracks earlier close to where you're at right now i'll send the coordinates thank you but i'm going to ignore it we also have our visibility which will be based on well many factors including our stance our movement rate the obviously light uh, situation and oh there's a rabbit <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, the lighting situation and, you know, obviously day-night cycle dynamic, etc. The weather and also our coverage as well. So if we're under certain trees, then obviously we'll gain bonuses to that. And there's a deer just running past there. I wonder if we can make a little sort of snapshot. Well, not with my parkour skills. I think we've lost it. Yeah, we've lost it. Okay. Probably best to actually stay with the rifle out then. This is why you don't generally just run around because obviously you will spook animals and they'll sort of run off. Although normally they don't run right in front of you like that. <laughs> so anyway, heading over to the hide and we'll see what we can do. It's been a while since I've played the game. Um, well, I actually done a video of it, but I even played the game. It used to be quite a regular occurrence. Uh, myself and some mates popping on here and sitting in a hide talking absolute nonsense for a while there's some deer down there and we'll see what we can do wow those were two absolute terrible shots weren't they i don't think i hit anything well i did hit the rock behind it so at least there was a bit of hard standing there white tailed deer it's not white tailed deer we're after i mean i'll take what i can get but still it's not what we're after Loads of tracks here, all the grass being pushed down. We can see the rocks that I hit. And some fresh droppings for black-tailed deer. Oh, and blood! I did hit something. Blood splatter, no organs hit just now. Right, well, we might as well track this then. And see which direction it went. Blood, bleed red very low, but I did hit it. And there's another rabbit. I'll tell you what, it's uh, very active at the moment. So this is where 
things can get a little bit problematic because obviously I'm running after this thing. It's going to try and put as much distance between myself and it as possible. But even when it slows down, because that's currently on a run, it shows on the top right there. Because I'm running as well, it'll hear me. And obviously start legging it itself. Still bleed rate is very low, which can, I believe the bleed rate can... That could have been it there. But it's still, we're still tracking it. And I don't like to abandon it. I don't like to abandon it if it's bleeding. There it is. Okay. We're not going to get a quick kill bonus. That's not going to happen. There's another one over there, you see. Loads of them, actually. Right. So, this isn't going to be a quick kill bonus. Certainly not. Okay. So, hit it in the neck. Very nearly hit the vertebrae there. But there you go. No vital organ hit. Bit of cash reward, but no quick kill bonus. And I'm not surprised. Okay, bit of experience, but let's have a look. That was a bit thrilling, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't expect that. So, we know that they were heading over that direction. Well, we physically saw them. But I can't see them anymore. How close to where... Uh, no, I was actually going over there. So... Because I'm completely in the open. It's not very good. Let's have a quick look through the binoculars around here. You'll get phantom signals, essentially, where you'll see... <laughs> you'll see, like, leaves or random insects and, like, seed heads going across. And you... Oh, there's something, and it's, it's nothing. Anyway... Let's get our rifle back out. So we made a kill. Didn't expect that. Honestly thought I'd missed both times. But it was only the one. At least I only saw the one blood splatter. So I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? Going to get our bleater. That's the wrong bleater. Or the wrong caller. So this simulates the uh, mating call. And the deer's... Deer... Deer is his? Deer. We'll come towards it. If they're within range and, you know, if they're not being, you know, shooed off. There's the black tailed deer mating call. There's also one over there. But that's a door. We're not after doors. We're not after doors. See all those there? Let's get our binoculars out. Uh, just missed it. Okay. Black tailed deer. Female. But. Where there's one, there's often many. So let's see if this works. See if we get any interest. I'm going to check the phone just to make sure. Male black tailed deer and have a quick kill bonus of 50 or higher. Okay. So we know there was some heading that way. It may be worth heading over that way if we don't get any success or have any luck here. For some reason can't mark that up. I think it's because of the the tree there. All right. Has it moved or have I lost it? I think it's moved. All right. So the sounds are changed based on the time of day and the weather and such. 
So the sound design is just amazing. Okay. Well, we'll take in this nice scenery as we head towards that area. I'm just going to walk. We'll find the tracks. And it's heading towards the point that I was originally going for anyway. There's all the tracks there, as you can see. So we'll have a check of these out. But we know that we know they went over that direction anyway. But it's just how far. White tailed deer. It's black tailed rafter. There's a lot of deer around here though. Let's check this out. White tailed deer. Moose droppings. Old though. Fresh rabbit droppings. And ah, this looks to be a need zone. That would make sense. You can see the sort of sun's burning off the morning mist there. It's a need zone for a deer. Okay. Heading towards this potential location. Not seeing anything in the forest on the edge there. So what I'll do is get that built. It's not built at the moment. White tail deer, fresh droppings there. And more. They're on a trot. So they're being head they're headed in the forest basically. So let's see how much this is gonna cost. Two grand. We've got enough. Alright, so we're in an elevated position now. Obviously provides us with several benefits. Um, obviously, firstly, we are in an elevated position, so we can see a lot further. Secondly, for shooting, same sort of bonuses. Thirdly, the noise you make is limited because you don't move around as much, and your visibility is always the single white line. It doesn't bloom, which is always quite good. So what we'll do, we'll position ourselves here for a little while. That's the wrong call. <laughs> That is a, <laughs> I believe, a mating call for a coyote, and I thought I saw something there. So we'll have a couple of minutes in here, and we'll see how we get on. And as I said, if we don't have great success with that, see there's a previously spotted black-tailed deer over there. We may go ahead and go to this location, because there's a black-tailed deer need zone around there, but it's only between a particular time. But we'll need more equipment for that. Speaking of equipment, uh, we can have a look at the sort of things that I have. So on me, I currently have a tent, <laughs> which you can... Uh, a two-man tent suitable for all weather conditions. Paint high-tech mosquito wall 2.0 test under severe conditions in northern Scandinavia has proven to decrease the user blood loss by almost 5% compared with previous generation. <laughs> The all wooden product also includes a large star container that will turn your mobile home into a fully functioning outpost. Basically, we can then get anything that we have out of it, which is really, really good, which is going to be useful because we'll need to set up and get our tree uh, hide type thing. So, you can see the colour temperature has also changed now. It's, now that the sun's coming up, it's uh, a lot lighter. A couple of these. The problem is my height is such that this is always in the way. If I'm standing up, I can't see up there. And if I'm crouching down, that thing's in the way. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. So, with the binoculars, I'm just going to scan around. Obviously, loads of tracks over there. Is that movement over there? No, nothing over there. Some reddish patch of earth there. And nothing around there. Okay. And now it's starting to rain. And it sounds like it's going to be quite heavy. Many a time have I sat in a hide or something like that, nattering with friends couple of beverages just waiting for animals 
<laughs> just taking in the sights and sounds and talking nonsense with friends. Good times. Uh, let me remove that marker. Remove that waypoint. Don't really need that. Currently, almost 10 minutes past 6 in the morning. So we've only been out an hour. Already, though, we do have a kill. You can see now that the rain is quite heavy. See, visibility is lowered. It's not a big problem, though. Let's try this bleater once again. So we've not heard anything back, which is the main concern. Normally I would wait to hear the calls and then use them. I don't particularly want to go that way. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit here. I'm going to leg it this direction. We are just going to run. Obviously if we hear a warning call we know something's close. There are some tracks up here. Let's see what we can find. That's a black tailed deer, trot. This way. Might as well follow it. Realistically, it'll be quite far away now, I would assume. It's black tailed rafter. It's also another nesting zone there. Be some droppings there. Very old droppings. Okay, so there has been a deer through here, but it's very old. This track. But then again, for all we know, it's double drowned. Where would it be off to, realistically? That needs on there. That's exactly where it's gone. Okay. Well, it's between five and nine thirty. Well, it's just after six, so realistically, then it could still be there. How far away is that? Not very far at all. So we can't really afford a stand up and run. So I'm going to slowly edge towards that location. We'll see what we have. I have a feeling that there won't be much of a clearing until we're very near the edge. We could head up there and get a bit of elevation. That might be the right call. I don't need to follow the tracks anymore. Because I already know where we're going. There's some tracks there for a white tailed deer on the trot. Now we're creeping through all of these bushes here. So we're making a bit more noise. So I'm not trying not to sprint through it where possible. There we go. Just keeping an eye on the bottom right. Making sure that our noise doesn't go over a certain level or well, hopefully the rain will dampen that some well, I'm not entirely sure if the rain does so we're coming into 100 meters of our destination I'm gonna stop sprinting now patience is required with this game if you play run and gun I mean you probably will bag one or two just for sheer luck but it's not how you're supposed to be playing this. For that sort of experience, I would recommend Far Cry 5. <laughs> Same sort of setting. You can hunt animals. But you can also do it with an M60. So as mentioned... Didn't think there'd be a good clearing until we're very close to it, which is a shame. But we'll do what we can. 
Obviously just crouched. No sprinting. Trying to avoid the branches where possible. Go in between them. Not to break them or disturb them. If we look back we'll be able to see the path I've created. All the foliage is pushed down. Whereas if I go... And there it's already... Thought I had something. It's already crushed down. Does that give us an advantage? Not really. Okay, we're going to come off this track now. Head more directly for it. So I'm not necessarily looking for deer. I'm just looking for silhouettes and movement. Mainly, let's say, silhouettes against the, the water. We still have good elevation, but we're starting to lose it now, coming down here. It looks like that animal has went round that way and headed in from the southeast. Switch back over to the rifle, because we might not get much of a chance. If I had my tree hide, it would be much better. I'll tell you what. Um, de deploy my tent. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to place it around here. That's a, sh that's a shame. Open space. It's fairly open. I would have thought around here would have been alright. So if I could place the tent, I'd be able to then access my inventory. Oh well. We'll try it without. If we don't have any success then we may have to change tact. It's coming close to the edge here. Not seeing anything over to the south. I'm going prone and we'll creep forward. White tail deer mating call. Very close as well. That's actually a good sign. It means I haven't made enough noise to spook everything in a 40 mile radius, which is normally what happens. This is a white tail deer on the trot. My scent is such that it's going back over, which is better for us. I'm just going to creep to the edge of this bit. I'm just trying to think where the best... I mean, that would be a better location, because we could see across there. Sadly, that's hindsight for you. I'm not seeing anything at all. I thought that was uh, something <laughs> coming out of the forest there, but it's just the noise of the uh, rain. It's getting extremely close to this need zone. What was that? Another white-tailed deer mating call. If something was here, realistically, we would have seen it by now, wouldn't we? There's no trees around, sadly, for me to fling a... For me to fling a hide up. I'll tell you what, let's get the tent out. So... There's the tent. What we'll do is we'll access that. Oh! Dropping's inside. Um. So... Access cache. So we can go to our uh, uh, storage down to the bottom. This is all everything that I own. And we will put in our pocket the Incognito Deluxe Tree Stand Timber. Alright. And then we will obviously put that on our inventory. Seven. And then when you click it, it highlights where you can place it. And that 
Uh, that will do, actually. Overlooks that area. Let's do that. Still don't know whether or not it's going to work. Current time is 10 to 7 in the morning, so still well within that need zone. Need zone's time scales. Yep. Yeah. I've spooked something. Yeah. So, it ran right in front of us. I don't know what it was. But it was running fast. Even if I had the rifle out, I don't think there'd be much chance of me being able to shoot that. I'm hoping that this tree here is reasonable. You can see the options for placing it. There you go, that's up. Yes, we do have very long arms. <laughs> We've very good reach. And you can enter from a long range as well. That seems to be longer range than I originally thought. Okay, so I've placed it hopefully in a decent position. These branches are a little bit annoying around us, but it's not something we can't deal with. And it's just a waiting game now. So, there you go. Maybe best to bring this down a little bit. Hmm. I think I prefer the elevation. I definitely prefer the elevation, but also at the same time, these branches are annoying. Further down, we won't have that issue. And try, I'll try and deal with it. <laughs> so just using the bleater. If there's anything close by and interested, hopefully it'll come closer. Obviously, we're still well within that need zone time anyway. Let's so have to get the binoculars out and have another look across the lake. We can see there's black-tailed deer and a Roosevelt elk. Lots of deer. Lots of deer indeed. Black-tailed deer. Antlers as well. That's what we want. Yeah. Difficulty level 5. If we use F, we can tell... Uh, the direction of wind and the ps yeah, so almost no wind 1.52 meters per second so the elk and the deer are hanging around together and it said need zone discovered so I'm assuming there yeah Roosevelt elk need zone and previously spotted black tailed deer okay well There is, I mean, I could head over there, couldn't I? Very easy. There's no way I can shoot it from here. Eagle of some kind, bird of prey. What would be the option? What are the options? That's the one realistically I would probably go for. But where would I have to get? Oh! 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 Let's hit other generic uh, noises of surprise. So, it's quite a way. I completely missed it. <laughs> oh, okay. Far too high. Darn it. That was a good, good chance of success there. And he messed it up. But, this splodge here, these splodges represent, like, successful kills. And, like, hunting pres uh, presence. So animals will actively avoid that. So I've spooked them there. But they could very easily come back. I'm also very aware now that they're pretty much lining the edge of this. I mean, I could try and go for that, but I mean, actually, no. I mean, that's my maximum zoom level. And it's 
I mean, at this distance, <laughs> with even a tiny bit of wind, that's it's not going to work out. The wind's actually shifted, which is even worse, because my scent is going right over that need zone. So, yeah, we'll have to... Uh, hang on. Do we have any in stock? We do. Stops your scent for a while, I think. Okay. Hmm. They're looking this way. It says it's just drinking. That's the problem with not playing the game for a while. You lose your lose your eye. You don't <laughs> You need to keep playing, especially with the new weapons as well. Have a look across there. Oh, that's a nice but You can see the sun's out and where the cloud cover stops. Or maybe where it stops drawing. <laughs> stops drawing shadows. I assume it's the former. That one's still sitting there. That's a Roosevelt elk. And there's the deer. Not bothered about each other's presence. Strong call. <laughs> I think it keeps going even though you <laughs> take it away. Okay. Couple of mating calls. Something over there. What time are we on? Probably near seven. Quarter past seven. Disappointed with myself on that one there. Happens, but doesn't mean I have to like it. So in order to get down there, I have to walk all the way down there and then probably round that way, round the back, round there, and then across. And then to get within a reasonable shooting distance of those. This need zone should still be active. Black tailed deer. Five and a half nine. Yeah. I have nothing around here. Do I want to head that direction? My my sin's actually going in that direction, but they haven't uh haven't s smelt anything. It's probably because of the distance. I'll only carry over a certain distance. Or it's just missing. Actually, I think it's just missing. Look at the direction for that one. Okay. I'll give it until in-game quarter two. And then we'll move. I think. That's probably the... At least it's course of action. I wouldn't say it's the best course of action. But this is often what the game is like. Hiding away. Not really doing much. But... I've never been bored by it, ever, because it just, it's just—it's such a lovely place to be. <laughs> it's a walking simulator that happens to have guns in. That's pretty much how <laughs> I treat it as, rather than a, a hunting simulator. Perhaps heresy for those who obviously want it as the hunting simulator, but you know, we pay the money for it. We can play how we want. Let's see if the wind's got up over there. No, they're still there. Let's see what the wind is. Let's go and press F. And wind has changed slightly, but it's actually quite low. 1.2 metres a second. In terms of skills and perks, well, let's have a look at that. So I've got two stalker skills and no ambusher uh, skills. So we've got three levels in locate track so direction track and corner is now narrow and preciser um, also one point in track knowledge as you go up it's like approximate weight and height and that sort of thing ambusher well very little experience well no experience and yeah haven't put points in there surprised that the stark one is the one i've got more points in. i would have thought ambusher um in terms of perks it's a uh, per rifle so we've got reload uh, muscle memory so unlocks ability to reload the next shot without leaving aim mode, which is very useful. Steady hands, increases wobble, and also we've got the, the windage there as well. 
which uh, has been of limited use, I must confess, but it gives us a nice gauge. Okay. Half seven. Not really getting any success up here. So, I think... Do we head down? Well, I said quarter two, so we'll... We'll do that. Might as well. In terms of places on the map, I have uh, gone to other places since the last video. Mainly in Chile, around here. Had good success around there. Over to uh, Mount Leviathan, but mainly just getting the lookout points. A lot of them is just driving on the quads just to pick stuff up. And then over at uh, Balmont Lake on the far left here to these lookout points. And you can see there's... Um, it, the map's massive. It's absolutely huge. And this is only one of the one of the reserves. You know, there's multiple reserves. In fact, one of them is uh, one that I'm looking forward to, which I haven't tried yet. So I believe it's in Germany. Nice wind wilderness. See, the sun is obviously higher in the sky now. It's lighting that up. Uh, okay, I'm going. I think we can safely say that didn't work. And how do we how do we pick that up again? I think there's something Is it near the base of the tree? I can't remember how you pick this up. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, you press R. Alright. I don't have any problem running at this stage. This is where I run three feet and about 30 black tail deer just come out of that. So, there you are. So let's head up to... Ah, the problem is if I head that way, this way, my send is going to be directly onto them. Which is not what I want. So I'm going to have to head a little bit more direct. I think it's still going to be... Oh no, it's better if I go this way. Mount Leviathan. Still making a bit of noise, but hopefully not enough to spook them. Let's get our binoculars out, see if we can see them. Unless I have spooked them. No, nope, there they are. Still there. But they're quite a ways away. So I think I can put some distance between me and... That was a weird noise. This is where I get wiped out by a moose. <laughs> One of my first times playing the game was just wandering around and we had like, you know, footsteps. So what's that noise? What? And then turned around this moose just comes out barreling out of the woods and out of nowhere and just hits us and I went, ah. Oh, you can get wounded in the game. I did not realise this. Live and learn. So they're still over there. Black tailed deer, very easy. Well it has to be a male. And it has to be a quick kill bonus. So we not only have to find a good male to take the shot on, but also not mess the shot up as well. Black bear warning call. So it's probably heard me. So that's a good indication for me not to start legging it. Oh, no. It's probably smelt me because of the direction of the scent. Most likely. But anyway, what I'm going to do is head up this direction. Get up here. And have a good look down. Hopefully I'll be in just the right location to shoot at them. I don't know what distance they'll be. I do have a set of binoculars that tell me the distance. Sadly, they are the night vision ones, which means as soon as you put them on, you look through it because it's daylight. It's just a green blob in front of your eyes. You take them out and there's two boiled eggs for uh, <laughs> where you used to have them. And yeah. I hope I didn't... Sp Black 
Okay, warning call again. Almost certainly sent. And warning call doesn't mean they've run off. All this foliage is a problem. I'm going to stand up. They're still there. Okay, that's fine. Get a bit closer then. The problem in getting this close... Is it, I'm, as I'm going further down now, the trees such that I can't see them. Oh, what's that there? Definitely something running. I'm just hoping. Ah. White-tailed deer. Okay. So... Stealth is no longer optional. There's the elk. It is very easy, but I doubt it. So I think our best course of action is to head down to here. Get in them trees. We should have a de decent line of sight straight over to our target. And then I'll miss, and then I'll quit the game, I'll uninstall it, and never upload the video. <laughs> okay. That's cold coffee now. Time does not fly by. Right. Move that waypoint. I'm keeping the binoculars out. Because I want to mark them up like that. Going prone. I'm making very little noise now. That was making a lot of noise, but I'm not making a lot of noise. And we may be able to take a shot from prone. Although I fear that my only target is that door over there. But visibility is very good in here. So there's a black-tailed deer. Male. That's all right. Black-tailed deer there. Fe that's a female. That's the elk. And there's the two there. Very easy and very and minor. I don't know what would be the one to go for. Can I take the shot from here? I probably could. I don't like that there's two of them next to each other. That worries me so. And the advantage is I can... <laughs> if, I, if I miss one, I'll probably hit the other. But still. My sense also spinning around. I don't really have much time, I don't think. I think I'm just going to have to take the shot and hope for the best. I really want them to move. It's not the ideal shot. And I'm not very good. Do I take the shot? That one or that one? That one. Oh, I'm going to turn the head there. That I'm taking the shot. I think it's down. I think it's down. And they're heading off. Do I take the shot at that one? No. Where's the other one? Still over there. Okay. The thing is, I've just spooked them there. There's another male blacktail deer. I'm going to take the shot. I'm going to try that. It's oh, it's a bit far away though. I'll get a bit closer. They'll almost certainly get my scent. And I'm running, so they'll hear me. But let's see if that was successful. It is successful. I can see it. I'm hoping that was the male with a quick kill bonus. 
looks like it dropped where I ate it. Flesh, stomach, liver, left lung. Silver rating. Accept. And that's a mission done. Yeah. Good. Richard Hope, ran into a hiker the other day that asked me to uh, asked me to round up some deer for him. Want to help? Deliver the meat to him. Accept. Harvest black-tailed deer weighing at least 20 kilos each. There was a mission. Completed. Happy with that. It took a while, but patience was definitely rewarded. Um, I have a feeling that most of the deer would have legged it by now, though. Yeah. Oh. There's some over there. That's the black-tailed deer. I wonder if there's some back there as well, where we came from. Where did we start? Well, my tent is over there somewhere. So we started quite a ways away. Um, that's a loud bird. Let me get up this tree stump up here. And see if we can get that black-tailed deer. That's not a tree stump, that's a monument of some kind. Is it? There's a warning call from the deer. I got too... I was running too quick. I was too focused on whatever this thing was. I think it is a tree stump that's been carved. No, no, it's just a tree stump. Just is what it is. Right. Let's get under here. You can see the mist's coming in now, though. We've got a bit of fog. <laughs> and what's that? Oh, it's an antler! Okay, you get these... Um, these things here. Uh, can I pick that up? There you go. And you get rewards. For it. <laughs> right, let's have a little sort of scoot through here, see what we can see. I have a feeling I've run too much though, and it's probably spooked it. Um, black tailed deer, female. Okay. So they're over there. Yeah, they're over there somewhere. I wonder if we can get round. Hmm. They'll probably head to the water eventually. And over there. Okay, I don't think... Over there? No, just grass and lightning. Black-tailed deer. Ah, let's let's try it. Let's try it. Our last attempt. At least seventy did it say. I think it did. Uh, to be fair though, it's just black-tailed deer. It's not male or female. So we want an older animal, obviously heavier, more grown up. But quite frankly, that's the closest. And it's got a good profile. And it's down. Okay. Missed that second one, but the first one was a good kill. Let's go. Let's have, uh, let's have a look. You can see the wind's got up now. And we've got a lot of... Oh, that's subsurface depression. And we've got a lot of um, rain coming down. So, definitely a kill here, and a good one by the look of it. I'll see what rating it is. We'll have a quick kill bonus. And that is a silver rating again. And it is just in with the... <laughs> it's 71.96 kg. So it's just within our, ra our rating. If we check that, we can see that it is, yes, one of two. So we have managed to do that. Running over here then, because I want to see... Where we took that other shot. I don't believe I hit it. I'm not seeing any blood. Just tracks. There's a black-tailed deer warning call. It was around about here, wasn't it? No. And no. 
so I don't think I hit anything. And there's more warning calls over there. This is this place around here is amazing for black-tailed deer. It's I think the first time I've really hunted here in anger. That's the wrong term. And this was actually originally the place I said we were going to go. You see the need zone there? So, that's worked out. The black tail deer is over there. It's not scent. It's just noise, I think. So we'll try and... <laughs> I was going to leave the video on the first one, but we've had good success. Obviously, uh, you're the only one still watching, so well done. <laughs> These ones don't tend to garner many views, but the people that really enjoy them got a lot out of them, which is why I make them. I like the slow-paced nature of it. And if it provides some comfort, then it's worth it. So, creeping up. I mean, I could, I could use this, couldn't I? Another warning call. It must be close. It must be just down there. It must be. On our belly once again. We'll get under here. Making little noise one of the downsides of playing with multiplayer is that it is a game that you play together alone I find because I don't think the missions track which is very annoying but also and the main downside is that if you're both together and one person shoots and the other person's lining shot up then obviously everything scarpers Another real annoying thing is when you're trying to hunt and you've just lined up your shot and you're ready to take it, your mate barrels up on a quad bike and scares everything. <laughs> so where was that? Is it, is it literally just down there? It could be. Just down there. I thought so. Yeah, just round here. Well, I've taken two shots. It was a gamble. I don't think I've hit anything there. Oh, there's blood. Blood splatter. No organs hit just now. So, we'll check that out in a second. I'm just going this side. And we have two blood trails. So that's sort of bad because now I'm almost certainly going to lose one. What I'll do is I'll mark this point because I know that's where I need to come back to. So we are now running <laughs> and obviously following these tracks. So because there are... Uh, I'm, I'm looking out for blood trails, you see. There's another blood trail. Bleed rate is very low. So potentially, it could bleed out. Also is the case that it could not just stop. I don't have time for moose. <laughs> it's not moose time. It's not moose time. Although, it's heading towards it, so it might be moose time. <laughs> Do you want to make it moose time? Mmm. Mmm. Uh, no, it's not moose time. Eyes on the prize. Where's that? Make that the active scan. There we go. Remember, we still have to come back for the other one, potentially. 
obviously there's loads of there are there is blood quite often here bleed rate is still very low but it's still bleeding I think I've said before I'm not entirely sure whether it can just stop bleeding entirely or whether it always bleeds out I think it's the former I think it can stop I mean it's a poor shot very unethical shot I don't know which way it's going here. I'm still finding blood trails though. Looks like it's circling back. Oh, there it is. We can see it. So we've got it. Um, not great. And it's quite light. Okay. So not very good. We've got a cash reward, but it's fairly poor. Okay, well, we're going to head back to the other, well, original point. Because we do have a, another deer to track. Realistically, it was a while ago. So I don't know. If I host it, do I run faster? Don't think so. But we'll try and track it. We will give it a go. I don't know whether it's gone out of range or anything like that. I can't believe we travelled over 350 metres. I thought it was a lot closer than that. <laughs> you can see the time now is 8.56 and yeah the sun is bearing down on us. It feels like it would be quite warm. Certainly running 700 metres and half of that probably carrying back a, <laughs> a deer is not great. You can actually taxidermy the deer as well, and because you have like hunting lodges, and you can put trophies on the wall. But I, I don't. I haven't done that. It costs money, and uh, not a big fan of the idea. So hopefully these tracks will still be in play. I think they should be. Now I didn't mark up the point exactly, so I'm now going from memory. So it was here. And there we go. So on we go. Following the tracks. And it is the blood trail that I'm looking for. Because some of these tracks could very easily be... Well this one the direction is such that... It's actually not telling me the direction for some reason. Uh, maybe I have to... Have a gun out or something. Yeah, there we go. So those are the wrong tracks. It's going the wrong way. But that's blood trail. That's what we want. So these ones are... Heading the wrong way again. This is where it gets problematic because they're sort of going over all ground. So it's run down this way. And potentially around here, there's some more tracks. Blood trail, right? We pick up this trail once again. It's often that you can lose the trail, especially over long distance. And even more especially when you come back to a trail <laughs> like I have done here. After doing something else. And I'm just trying to anticipate where the animal's been. And trying to keep an eye out for these blood trails. Yep, still, still following it. And obviously there could be a whole host of animals that we are <laughs> scaring off by. <laughs> <laughs> getting our free cardio in. Got this nice sun drenched plane here. Luckily, I do have good points in this. I can see the animal. Right. Okay. Again, it wasn't clean at all. But we did find it. These are obviously easy kills. That looks to be quite big. No. Only 52. 
So I'll accept that. So sadly, those two, I mean, we do have the experience for it and everything else, but we have not got the have two black tailed deer weighing at least 70 kilos. Shame. So instead, we'll have to head back uh, and fast travel to our tent, where realistically, we will probably pick it up, move off, and go and hide out. But either way, we will be leaving it there for now. I didn't expect the video to be as long. I don't expect to be, uh, anyone to be listening to this right now. But either way, that's been a bit of The Hunter, Call of the Wild. As I said, a game that is just a joy and beauty to be in. Taking the sights and sounds and just listen to the uh, wild calls of the animals and insects and everything else. And just nature around you. Taking in the sights and checking things out. And that's a... That's a white-tailed deer. Yeah, and also we got a couple of decent kills, a couple of poor ones, and a couple of mistakes. But it's all, all part of the plan, I guess. All part of the process, rather. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it, and if nothing else, hopefully it's been a nice relaxing one for you. If you want to see more, then by all means let me know if you have any tips and suggestions. Would very much appreciate them as well. <laughs> hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.